My name's Jess, I'm a clinical photographer at the Medical Illustration Department in the University Hospital of Wales. So with clinical photography, the whole process is used for um, diagnostics and review. Um, a typical day as a clinical photographer is a bit varied really. Um, I'd say no two days are really the same because we could be starting off the morning in the eye clinic where we do clinics for various eye conditions. We work in dermatology, we work very closely with the wound healing team and then by the afternoon we could be over in one of the operating theatres because we've had a theatre call for an emergency case that's just come in. We also do non-clinical photography um, that can range from staff portraits to um, photographing medical equipment. We do public relations photography in order to promote the health board. We work to a thing called standard representational photography. If we're taking a photo, we have ratios and certain views that we use so that they're repeatable. So it doesn't matter who's taking the photo or who the patient is, it can look the same over time. So for example, in dermatology, um, we might get a patient come in with a skin lesion um, and we'll take the initial photos um, to show what the lesion looks like as it is. And from there, they may be booked in to have the lesion removed. Um, we'd then be called in to photograph the process. And then further down the line, they may come back for photos just to see how the healing process has gone. So when we go up to the ward, there's a bit more to think about because there are variables that are kind of out of our control. The patients may be less mobile, so we might have to photograph them while they're in bed. There's also things like dressings that may need to be removed, so we need to work with other staff, such as like healthcare assistants or staff nurses to be able to achieve the photos that we need. One of the things I really enjoy is getting called to theatre. So you get to hear the surgeons talking about what the case is and you get to watch them work as well, which I find really interesting. It's a bit of a high pressure situation sometimes because you've got to be quite quick and accurate with knowing exactly what you need to photograph and make sure your lighting's correct. And you just have to be very aware of what you can and can't touch. Um, so there's a lot of thinking that goes into to getting that shot. Um, it's not just coming in taking a quick photo and walking off. Um, there's a lot more to think about, um, but it's quite an exciting job.